Hey guys, how's it going? How's your day going? I hope it's going good. So I'm gonna do this new project where I'm gonna paint Zelda screenshots until the game comes out on 15 May. So I keep myself hyped. And I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed painting this amazing screenshot. So now I'm painting the background, which is the whole Hyrule scene from above. I'm using this blue and variations of blue, just using a bit of water to do it lighter. With watercolor, I'm always painting the dark colors first and just leaving the lighter colors as closer to the paper as possible. Like the clouds here, we're just gonna leave the white of the paper. So it's kind of backwards compared to like uh, acrylic or oil or stuff like that. For me this is just really exciting because I don't have a lot of room for mistakes and just puts a bit of like this fun tension on every painting that I'm making. Just makes me feel like I'm more free and I'm just painting, I don't think about detail so much and at the end I'm surprised by the result, like you cannot really visualize it with watercolor, you're just gonna be surprised. I used a lot of water in this stage, that's why I need to leave it to dry a bit before I can do the second layer. That looks pretty good. Like, we, do, we don't need much detail in the first stage, right? It's really important to have patience when you start a painting. Some people just go into the detail of just one spot of the painting, and then, you know, if they mess up, they just abandon it. We let the page dry. Because if you try to paint over it, it's going to be just a mess, right? So usually the first stage I let it dry really well. And here I'm trying to paint a bit of details. It's just like the mountains underneath and all the landscape and stuff like that. We're not going to go too much into the detail. We're just going to suggest some mountains and some canyons and some weird buildings they have under the clouds. We're going to use some blue in the white spots we left on the screen because the clouds are transparent so you see a bit of the color from underneath coming through them. I used to get scared when I had to do like this complicated fan art with a lot of details. Thinking about it's gonna take a lot of time but now I'm just in my mind it's like I just have to do it and usually when you're calm and start with every layer and you do big shapes and then you do the second layer, which has a, a bit of detail, and then more and more. It takes less time than you think. My watercolors rarely take more than two hours. And every time I'm trying to think of what, what I have to paint, in my mind it feels like, oh, I have to spend all day on this, because it's this crazy landscape or something like that. But it's I know from my experience that it's just going to take less, and I just have to be present with the process. So I guess my advice would be be present in everything you do and it's not gonna take a lot of time because usually the stress in your mind makes everything last longer. I noticed a lot of people do this even before they start drawing, they overthinking too much and sometimes they, that's why they don't start. I know a lot of friends that they say they're always gonna paint but they never do it because they think it's too hard. You just have to do it, you just have to be present, it doesn't have to be good at the beginning, you just have to enjoy it. I think for me that's what an artist is. And painting for me should be like my time, so it should be relaxed, I shouldn't think about the results so much. Just be present and enjoy the process as much as I can. I'm using Ecoline watercolors, with, they have this really high contrast and they're perfect showing this kind of cartoony feeling, but also like painterly feeling of, of this great game, you know? I know there's some people there who love more realistic graphics in games, but I love this kind of graphics because they open up your creativity more somehow when you look at some details, like when you're watching anime or Studio Ghibli movies. After you play it, you're filled with this warm feeling somehow, I don't know how to explain it. We're not leaving the clouds white, we get a bit of blue in there to show they're a bit transparent, right? And now we're going to paint Link's legs and his skin, so we're using a, a type like a light orange for the shadows. This was a pretty difficult drawing to do because it's a weird perspective 
you know, from above somehow. And I think it took me two passes to do it. We're doing his hair, it has the same kind of shade, and his uh, right hand, which now has like these crazy powers and tattoos. I wonder if they explain that somehow, or they show how he, he got the hand. In the, in the new trailer, they show something. There's like this scene where he has this red magic around his hand, and probably that means that he absorbs the power from the enemy or something and then he can control the world and the world around him and gravity and all the powers he has in the new game. So now we're giving depth and you already kind of see the blue is kind of something far away because the way we put him in the foreground and the shadow and everything shows, shows now that he stays on the rock. Above Hyrule, at this high altitude, it looks amazing, right? Everything's coming together now. You can see more layers and you can kind of see where, they, where they're at in the scene, you know? And we're gonna continue with the shadow and uh, we, we're gonna put a bit of details on the rock. Showing that it's this ancient uh, temple or something that was here, because you notice we have a pattern on it. Also show how, how time corroded everything. Now we're gonna work on his body. We did a bit of the left hand. It's the green coat he wears. So here it was another cut because we just let it dry a bit and I think it's just a few hours later. And now we're coming in with the details. The straps of his shoes and we're already getting an idea of the shape of his legs. And now because we're doing the details, I feel like if when I look more and more at the background, you can totally see like the vast world with just right just a few lines of or spots of blue and white. We're uh, doing the handle of his sword. We have a bow there. We have his arrows. Uh, he doesn't have a shield on this screenshot. Like I said, uh, I had this idea and I think I'm gonna paint on screenshot every day until the game comes out. I uh, already took some nice screenshots from the trailers. And I'm actually excited to do it. I painted for the first game, I did like five of them. So like I said, we're drawing the bow now. It has like a really cute design. It looks like it's made from stone somehow, which is interesting. We did a detail on his quiver. And his quiver actually has like this pattern with red and brown and stuff like that. Well, every time we're using colors, we try to combine with the other colors. Like we put a bit of green in the red to make it more grayish. We're using yellow with every every them. So we're not keeping like really clean colors, we're, we're combining them. Cause actually color just borrows from what's next to it. And that's how you get like this atmospheric, beautiful stuff. Like you see the shadow is not just gray, it's like this bluish green combined with the yellow cause that's how the rock is. So it bor borrows the color from that. It's already coming out, right? You can see the shape clearer. It's a really nice atmosphere. I love this game, like even this screenshot just shows you how beautiful everything is and how like vertical it is. I don't think there is a game to this date that has this amazing verticality. So now I'm painting the sky islands, this is going to be the last detail of the painting. And this is going to show again more verticality and you're going to see like what's underneath and the land underneath. There's a bunch of islands in this game, they call them sky islands, which is a really cute name because they're all in the sky. 
but there's so many right like in the trailer every time you feel like you see just like four or five but they're everywhere and even now from this perspective you see they're like ants on the sky it's, it's incredible so many places to visit so exciting come on guys i know you're as excited as i am And here is the last one, it's like a really wide uh, island. And also I noticed every island has like these spikes underneath. Like maybe they just, they came up from the earth and it's like the root or something like that, you know. We're almost done with it. Thank you guys for watching and I hope this inspires you to paint something and I'll see you tomorrow on the next one.